Would it be, would it be, collectors of diecast? Enthusiasts of diecast, what's up? I'm um, just uh, back at you with another video of some uh, antique mall finds. Well, let's do it like this. We got that. And that's a heavy casting. So there's that one. We got a first edition Batmobile. We got a military Unimog. Went back and got the purple hard body. Found this pretty cool Lumina. And last but not least, Kuntash Ultra Hots. So I'll probably be cracking those on a video, but not this video. Um, tonight we're going to crack a few others. We'll start with this. Red Camaro numbered to focus. 5,000. Pretty sure at that time, pretty much all of M2's stuff was limited to 5,000. This is 2014. And I think maybe what might have happened is either their production went up or... Um, or they just stopped advertising the production run, unless it was a chase, but a lot of times their chase cars don't even say what the production is limited to. Anyways, so this is a red 1969 Camaro SS RS 396. We'll start out with some back end detail. SS 1969. Now this is part of their base, uh, their basic lineup. So it's just no opening doors, no opening hood, plastic base. But you still get rubber tires. You still get the same wheels. You get the same detail. Um, it's your front end. The hood is a separate piece. The hood tabs, red interior. So that's pretty cool. Pretty good roller, too. Uh, this is not good lighting for this. Um, anyways, so there's that one. And then this one. This is an older one. 2012. I think I overpaid for this one, but it's okay because the only 58 Impala I have from M2 is a basic, um, it's from the basic, or the, what is it, Auto Drivers release, and it doesn't have the metal base or the opening doors or hoods, so this will be the first 58 that I have that does that. And I've got a bunch of 55s and a few 57s and a couple of 54s. So it'll be nice to have the 58 as well. And it's sweet. Sweet. Look at that engine detail. That is one of the better detailed engine bays I've seen. Look at that detail. Really well done. Really nice front end. Nice closing hood. The doors line up pretty well. Actually, I don't know if they could line up any better than they do. I love the back end on this one. It would be better if they were lensed brake lights, but I think they're probably too small to do that with. But really well done. 58 Impala. So, and it also is a good roller. Now, I know my camera's not gonna not gonna pick this up. But Impala. Checkered flags. White wall tires. 
see if we can get a shot of this interior here. Well, the lighting's not the best for it. Let's try it the other side. Maybe it'll let some light in. Pretty cool. So I dig that. Like I said, I probably overpaid. I paid eight bucks. I know that's too much, but I needed one. All right, so the last two are pretty awesome. Um, only paid uh, two fifty a piece for these. Uh, that's why this Johnny Lightning Little Red Express is out right now because I found another one. So let's look at the detail on this guy so we can compare. You got the wood bed with the plastic smokestacks. Really nice detailed grill. Metal body, metal base. And plastic tires on this, unfortunately. They are two piece plastic. Opening hood with. Uh, what is a lack of detail there's actually good detail it's just it's all none of it's painted so but pretty decent detail in there it just needs to be touched up so little red express I believe is what it's called um, so here we go Monopoly Little Red Express. And I even get the little Monopoly piece. And I get a couple dollars of Monopoly money. <clears throat> that is real... That is real Monopoly money. Huh. It's cool though. It says Johnny Lightning on it. That's pretty cool. Alright. So let's start with this uh, this little guy. If I were to venture to guess what scale this is, I, I'm not even gonna try it because it's it's a little it's small, but it's detailed. I mean, there's some really good detail on that little thing. That is actually pretty wicked. Does it say something? Toy? Does it say toy? I don't know. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm seeing something or something. Anyways, there's your scale comparison there. So here you have the 164, and then this little guy will sit right on the bed. <clears throat> now... Uh, these things from Johnny Lightning with these chrome finishes are just sick. They look, they look like uh, like jewelry. That's the only way I can really describe it. Uh, so maybe it didn't say anything on the back of that. Just a little pattern of bolts, but that. That's cool because you can see it says Monopoly, painted brake lights. Um, we have the uh, cargo light there, tonneau cover. What I don't like is the Monopoly tampo work, the thimble. So you have the thimble on both sides and on the hood. It really takes away a lot from the paint job, which is a pretty cool, almost like a metallic, um, I don't know what color I would call that. It's, I don't know. Anyways, so <clears throat> also has an opening hood, which is the same detail as the other one. 
little bit better color but so that's cool I don't know I like it it's different but those are heavy castings those little red express from Johnny and last I found another one of these and I loved this one from the last time uh, I don't remember the other one was like a Plymouth Fury Sport I think I like this car better but I like that the color of the other one better but we have another holiday muscle this time we have the Plymouth Road Runner that is awesome let's uh, take it off the card here wow bling bling that is that's a lot of gold that is a lot of gold I'm almost afraid to put my prints on it anyways let's start while the hood is up let's start with that engine look at that we got the chrome uh, gold car gold engine bay with the chrome motor sitting in there that is just awesome got the little roadrunner badge here Gosh, my camera definitely focuses better when I film from this side meet me obviously this is from the year 2001 uh, let's see if we can get this hood that looks like that might be a problem alright got the hood down look at these tires BF Goodrich radial TAs I believe these to be three piece yeah they're three piece rubber tires oh man that this car is just awesome uh, the one thing I don't care much for is that back end um, I don't know what that's all about mother another Roadrunner logo I'm not sure if this is the same year as the Auto World Roadrunner that I've got, the red one, but they look pretty similar. Anyways, really, really nice roller. Wow. So I, I really like these. I'm gonna pick one. Uh, anytime I see one of these, I'm gonna grab it. I'm really starting to dig these holiday classic or holiday ornament rides from Johnny Lightning. So I thought that was a cool little find. Um, Let me, uh, whoa, take it this way here. I thought that was a pretty decent little haul. So, this black little Red Express I found around, I think it was January, it was when Toys R Us was receiving the, uh, Johnny Lightning Vault stuff. So it was released this year, but it was originally from. It might have been the mid 90s, or it might have been around 2003. I don't remember. But it was a vault car. And then. That. I mean, obviously, they're the same casting, just different color. I like both of them a lot. But that car right there that roadrunner is where it's at that thing is awesome and those are both pretty cool too the red Chevrolets so anyways uh, the diorama I've decided I've been talking about wanting a bigger one and I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and do it I just remembered in talking to my wife the other night that we have a an old pub style kitchen table 
sitting in our garage that's not being used and so I'm gonna bring that up here to the loft and start building it'll probably be three to four times the size of this one so I'm gonna try to put a structure on it maybe a gas station or something maybe some hills but uh, I'll keep you all up up to date on that anyway so that's the uh, that's the hall that's the crack the real crack and uh, thank you for checking out my video please subscribe to my channel and I will catch all you guys and girls at the next one